The start of each year is always an exciting one. SIHH, a few weeks in, is the perfect cure for the January blues. February, we tend to see certain brands releasing teasers and models for the year to come. And of course, March brings along Baselworld, the largest watch and jewellery show. Just under one week full of some of the hottest brands in the industry, all coming together to announce their new models, with eager watch collectors sat in anticipation to see if the next 12 months will bring an update to watch collections around the world. Fortunately, we now only have one week to wait until all is revealed to the world. But for now, there is no harm in speculating what we can expect for Baselworld 19. First up, let's start with a very popular brand, and one I believe will get a lot of attention once again. Last year, we saw the Black Bow 58, a watch which looked back to the introduction of the 7924 Big Crown from 1958. The 58 came with a new case, a new movement, and slightly new colours, which leads nicely on to this year's new models and our predictions. The Tudor Black Bay 89, the 30th anniversary of Tudor Submariner Series 2. Ever since their relaunch in 2014, Tudor have been big fans of re-releasing models, and it seems they're going down the same route for 2019. It's rumoured that Tudor will re-release, or at least honour, the Tudor Prince Oyster Date Submariner 79090. This rumour has only been helped further by the teaser shot Tudor posted recently on Instagram, showing a macro of what is assumed to be a 9 o'clock loomed hour marker sitting on a matte black dial. Clearly, the 79090 uses a Mercedes hands, which is synonymous now with Rolex. It feels more and more each year that Tudor is moving away from direct homages of Rolex, which makes me believe we could be seeing a snowflake hand appear on the Tudor sub. If a 79090 reissue is to be expected next week, then this wouldn't be factually correct. However, the snowflake hand perfectly fits into the existing lineup, and to me, makes logical sense. Next up, expansion of the classic dressier models. In November of last year, we saw Tudor release the Glamour Double Date, shifting focus away from their sporty models for a moment, to further add to their more classical lineup of watches. This is something I'd like to see Tudor continue this year. The current Tudor style and Tudor classic, for me, are in need of an update. The chunkier shouldered case, wide fluted bezel, and almost out of place use of red on the classic style, looks to me like a model which is in need of some attention. The Tudor style in its current state is a similar story for me. Its price point is very appealing. However, with a few tweaks, it could easily become a serious player in the £2,000 mark for everyday watches. The Tudor Black Bay 58 in more colours. If you're regular here on the channel, you'll know I've been wanting to see some more colours for the 58 range ever since it was introduced last year. Based on the 41mm Black Bay, we should be seeing a blue bezel with silver details and a red bezel also with gilt coloured details very soon on the Black Bay lineup. Fingers crossed 2019 is the year. And based on this shot from our 10 for 10 Black Bay 58 review, where we've edited the watch to be blue, it's hard to argue it wouldn't look great. Another big one people desperately wait for news about is of course Rolex. Last year we saw the GMT Master 2 with a Pepsi ceramic bezel in stainless steel and fitted with a Jubilee bracelet. We also saw an updated case for the two-tone Datejust 36mm lineup. So for 2019 what can be expected? The rolling out of the new Datejust case. I'm personally a big fan of the updated case for the Datejust. It reminds me a lot more of the vintage Datejust cases that can be found on models such as the 1601 or 1603. Seeing this new case rolled out to the rest of the Datejust lineup is, for me, an inevitable addition for 2019. The current Datejust lineup has an incredible amount of dial colours available. You only need to have a play around on Rolex's recently updated website to get an idea of how many options there really are. It seems to me like this could be a good opportunity to add even more options, as well as a new material colour. A full yellow gold date just with a similar amount of dial options would be a very cool addition to the Rolex lineup. And finally, a refresh for the Air King. If you've been watching our channel for the past 12 months, you'll know this is something I talked about this time last year, when Ben and I sat down to discuss our 2018 predictions. And, well, my opinion on the Air King remains unchanged, as I'd still love to see the Air King range receive some deserved love. This is a range from Rolex with some fantastic history, dating back to 1945. For a model that was created in the same year as the Datejust, this watch arguably has an equal amount of historical relevance. And yet, the current edition of the Air King, with its green colouring across the dial, 3, 6, 9 raised indices, and 5 minute markers, remains relatively unloved. 
Let's have a new iteration of the Air King Rolex. Whatever next week brings us, it's always an exciting time for watch fans across the world. Oh, and you can be sure to expect a lot more Buzzle World coverage from the whole Watch Gecko team here on the YouTube channel, our Instagram, and of course the online magazine. Stay tuned, you won't want to miss it. <laughs>